Hi there y'all, it's Melanie Ferguson with Southern Crush at Home where I hope to inspire you all to create and decorate a home that you love. Tonight is, we are like almost at Christmas y'all, and I don't know about you, but sometimes the best presents are your loved one's presents. Am I right or am I right? So if that's the case with y'all, we always play games. So our family's a big, um, game player family. As you hop on, say hey, and um, let me know where you're watching from because that's got, I think our little Southern Crush family is growing and it's getting a lot bigger. So I'm excited to see who all pops on tonight. Um, hey, Amanda, Tammy, Sue, and Brenda, how are y'all this evening? I'm so glad you could catch me live and um, join in on this project that we're going to do. So we're gonna make a super fun game. And this just happens to be one of the ones that I love to bring for Christmas. Hey, Michelle and Amanda, thank you so much. You guys know the drill. So as you sprinkle, I am going to share with you guys how to make this. Yes, it is, Tammy, you've got it. But the fun part is to see what I put in it. Everybody's different. So this is going to be the Saran Wrap ball game. So we're not going to play it, but we're going to make the ball. And I'm going to show you guys. Some of you guys will know exactly, if you know what I'm talking about as far as the saran wrap ball game, give me some love. Give me some hearts. Let me know in the comments below. If you do not know what I'm talking about and you've never heard of this, then let me know that too below so that we can um, explain it really carefully for you guys. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Carla. How are you? And Carol. All right, so tonight we are gonna make the Saran Wrap Ball game. So you can do this for any occasion, y'all. You can make these for kids' birthday parties. You can make them for, obviously, any party you want. Um, I'm making it for, obviously, Christmas. And you can do it for any age groups that you want to, y'all. So your, your ingredients, if you will, will vary based on the age group of the people playing. So this can be for little kids, it can be for teenagers, or it can be for adults. So, um, oh, that's so fun, Tammy. All right, so Dorothy has no clue what it is. All right, so, and neither does Pamela. Well, we're gonna share with y'all. All right, so this is um, gonna be for some teenagers this time. So we've got a 16 year old, two 19 year olds, and a, a 22 year old. So that's the age group of what's playing this one. And then also um, it's two girls and two boys. So that's how I picked what I picked. All right, so I'm gonna sort of kind of go through what I picked um, as we do this, okay? Um, so you do this, I'm gonna put this aside. And so you can fill this ball. Guys, we're gonna make a huge ball of fun, okay? Um, Marsha, your neighbor did this uh, for the adult kids and um, they used oven mitts to unwrap it. Well, that is super fun idea. I didn't think about using the oven mitts to unwrap it. It will probably help with older kids because they'll probably just try to tear it up really quickly. But in the meantime, all right, so I have all of these things here, okay? I'm just gonna show a couple things while we, um, while I make room for me to get started here. So I did get like this. <laughs> this is one of those Santa million dollar chocolates. Hey, Sheena, hey, how are you? I'm just reading all this. Luann and Charlene and Sharon, that's a lot of shush a lot of shush. I got this big thing of Warheads candy. Y'all, some of this candy I've not even heard of. We've got Icebreaker candy cane mints. I got two of those. Um, I grabbed some, a couple of girl things. It's a hologram girl like fa facial mask and then a charcoal facial mask. So I, I just love getting like the gender specific things because if a girl gets it, she's going to be super excited. And if a boy gets it, we're all going to have a really good laugh. So I love that. All right, listen, I don't know why, I do not know why, but they all ask for these all the time for their cars. And they all like the same fragrance. I have no clue what this smells like, y'all, but um, I know it's not piney. <laughs> so there's that. 
Um, but I'm going to open this and I'm going to make this be um, six different things. So the key with this is to have um, all sorts of different items in it. You can have candies, you can have um, gum, you can have um, little things like the nail polishes or masks. You can do gift cards. So I'm gonna separate these and we're gonna have three $10 Starbucks gift cards. And then we're gonna have an In-N-Out Burger card. These are the things they like, so this is what's going in it. So I'm gonna scoot, oh, and you know what else? Little um, little chapstick and um, Blistex. They're so cute. And this one's um, another flavor. I don't know, I just thought it would be fun. Oh, and then I got Mentos. They love Mentos, so. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna shove all this to the side as best I can. That is a lot of stuff, Carol. I hope it's enough. Oh, yay, Karen, your first live. Well, welcome. We're so glad you're here. This is what I'm using, y'all. You can use any brand you want, any kind you want. Just make sure it's nice and sticky. Um, I just grabbed this, y'all, at Dollar General literally five minutes ago. If you were in Dollar General here local in Texas, you saw me. So um, that's how real this is. So I'm going to try to open this. All right. I don't always open it right. But let me tell you a secret about saran wrap. I don't know if you knew this. Cling wrap, saran wrap, plastic wrap. There's these little things on the side that you can poke in. These were meant to go right inside, right inside the hole for the roll. And that is how it stays in place. So I didn't know if you didn't know that. So hopefully that's helpful for somebody who didn't know that. But you push these things in on the side and it helps the roll stay in place. Cause you know, a lot of times you're chasing it around everywhere. Oh my goodness. Yay, you did, Emily, you caught me live. The ones from Costco and Sam's Clubs are huge and inexpensive. What ones, Renee? The, um, the cling wrap? Y'all, I can't find the start of it. <laughs> that might be a problem. Okay, wait, ah, I think I found it. So I'm gonna get the start of the saran wrap. And y'all, there's no right or wrong way to do this, but look, this literally um, is staying in place because of it being punched in. So that is a nice little, a nice little tip. So y'all are gonna have to help me chase the saran wrap everywhere we go. It's okay, it's gonna be crooked. So I'm gonna close this back up. And then you just literally, um, pull out what you need at a time, okay? So I'm just gonna start with this much. And I'm gonna put, I like to put the best prize in the center for last because everyone wants the best prize. Usually it's cash. I didn't have cash with me. Um, do I have cash with me? Let me check. If I have cash, y'all, <laughs> then it's gonna be cash. I do have cash, okay. Look at me, I have $15, woohoo. So we're gonna put cash in the middle. Usually, you know, it, this, there's no usually. That's the main thing, there's no usually. So if you wanna put like a $1 bill in here or a, a special, some kids think it's special to get like a $2 bill because they're so rare. Or you could put like a $100 bill in here. Um, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a five in the middle and I'm gonna sprinkle some more throughout. I think I'm gonna fold it up too, just so it's not so obvious. And I'm just gonna start over here at the end and just kind of roll it like that. And so the $5 bill is in there. I forgot that money is an important part of this, y'all. Okay, so you're gonna help me. I'm gonna just start with putting a little bit of things in at a time. If you keep it in the fridge, it doesn't cling together. Oh, okay. Um, you can't hardly hear me, Kathy? Can everybody else hear me? If so, it might just be on your end. It might just be on your end. Yes, Debbie, I forgot about the lottery tickets. That's such a great idea. I was really rushed. My kids were in the car and they were like, hurry up. I'm like, well, you don't know why, you know, you're rushing me. And so, um, oh, y'all, I'm not leaving enough room between, you gotta put a lot of saran wrap between the um, items so that it's just not like someone gets item after item after item. So 
so there's really no right or wrong way you're just making a ball now if anybody who's done this a million times has tips feel free to bring them on so I'm just gonna shove an airhead in here and then I'm going to put a Snickers these are little bitty Snickers And you just want to, I think, wrap it all different directions so that it doesn't just, you know, unroll easily. You wanted to share that tip. Oh, thank you, Janet. So put it in the refrigerator if you don't want it to, like, stick to itself, I think is what you were telling me. All right, so I have some bigger, bigger presents. Oh, I need to open up these trees, don't I, so that we can make sure that we use them. I don't want to tear them open because I don't want them to, to already start smelling. So, I don't know. I guess you just tear them like that. This is going to be so much fun, y'all. So when you actually play it, um, you will sit around a table in a circle and I guess everybody does it different. I don't know, but we usually have like um, timer and everybody gets a certain amount of time. I think there's also a way you can roll dice. Um, share the wrap so there will be ends throughout the ball. Okay. What does the end do? I would cut it in between rolls. Okay. So let's, let's, let's cut it. This isn't cutting very well, is it? Oh, it just tore. All right, so I should go live when playing it. Well, maybe I will, maybe I will. You've done this for a few years and it is a favorite, Linda. Cut the saran wrap every so often so that if they get on a roll, it will end and they will need to start over. Okay, so then I'm starting a new one. This one was pretty packed. It has the $5 bill and a whole bunch of candy. So I'm going to add a chapstick, I think. Thank y'all for helping me. You played it two years in a row, Connie, and it was so much fun. Yay. Okay, so there's a chapstick in there. You guys that have never seen this start getting the idea. I've got it going backwards now, so it's going all over me. Ah! Okay, I'm going to put a couple of Starburst in there just to kind of, someone will open that. Someone will get that. You play this every year, Wet Rosie. Well, awesome. I'm so glad. Okay, y'all said I need to tear this ever so often, and this is making me crazy, so I'm probably about to um, tear it so that I can at least start over the right direction because I am totally the wrong direction. Okay. Roll double sixes. Then you have to put Santa hat on it. I'm going to go back and read these directions, y'all. I know I've had the directions before, but it's been a hot minute since we played it. I'm going to do this on top so that I can keep track. Okay. Am I putting too much saran wrap in between? You use dice and shake until you get doubles. Oh, yeah, that's right. You shake until you get doubles. That's how you take turns. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the Tic Tacs in because those are, those are a winner for somebody. And I can't forget to be sure and get these Santa Claus chocolates in because Santa Claus is the whole reason for the season, partially. <laughs> for, this, for this part. Okay, I'm gonna put Santa in and put him facing outward. We roll one dice and then you keep unrolling till you roll a six. Okay, so everybody does it a little bit differently and that's what I thought. This is, there's the Santa for you guys that are just hopping on or don't know how to play this, don't know what I'm making. Okay, I'm gonna add the juicy fruit here. This is going to be a big ball. The next person in the roll, the next person in line rolls dice until they land on, sorry, I can't read it. 
I'm gonna put another piece of candy in here. And I think next I'm gonna do one of these. Uh, I need to start putting some more of the big stuff in because, um, oh, y'all tell me to tear this every once in a while. Y'all, there's a lot of moving parts here. I've got to be sure to add one of these gift cards before it gets too crazy. Okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add the, um, the black ice tree is the next thing. You've been wanting to do this, Carol. Well, good. Hopefully this will give you some uh, ideas. I gotta do it this way, y'all, just so I can keep track. And I guess it's okay if it's messed up. Cause you can't really mess it up. I love those kinds of projects. The game, the name of the game, I don't know if there's like an official name, but we just called it, um, what did we call it, y'all? We called it something at the very beginning. I'm gonna put another, I'm gonna put a cherry airhead. Somebody help um, Miss Mary out. She wants to know what the name, if there's like an official name. You're gonna make it a tradition. That's what I want to do because it's so fun to put these together. Y'all, I just keep throwing candy in there. I know I'm supposed to tear it again, probably. I got candy falling out. I got candy falling out. Y'all see me have candy everywhere? Okay, I'm gonna tear that off at this section. I am trying to roll it tight, y'all, because I think that's part of it. If you roll it tight, so here's where we are so far. I've got all the stuff in here so far that we've been putting in. A lot of it you can't even see, and that's the fun. People don't know what's in the middle. Um, and that's why I try to put like the best thing in the middle so that people are like, they really want to get to it. And what's fun is if you have, if you make it where you can see things as you go, people want to be the one to get to unwrap that part. And so it makes it even more exciting. I'm going to put the M&Ms here. Y'all, this is a group effort. So if you guys have any suggestions or um, ideas, put another five in. Okay, Susan says put another five in. Ah, it's going so fast. Where's my fives? Oh, over here. <laughs> Here's my fives. Um, do you think I should lay it flat so you can see it or roll it up? Maybe it's called the saran wrap game, Leah. I'm not, I think, you know, um, use lots of saran wrap. Okay, I will. What did I start off with? Um, is what, what did you start off with is the top, top prize. Oh, it was just a $5 bill. I should have probably done the $15 in and out burger. Y'all, I've got to put this in somewhere and then I need to open up these Starbucks ones. I've got three Starbucks that I need to put in here separately. So roll it, Carol says. Susan says flat, flat, flat. Does each person, oh, do the bunny flat, okay. Does each person playing have a saran ball? No, Nancy, there's just one saran ball that goes around and everybody's screaming and trying to be the one to get the prizes out of it as it goes around. So that's what makes it fun. Boy, if everybody had a saran ball, that would be crazy. Okay, so I've got these three. I need to make sure, and these are $5 each. I probably should have written on them, but I'll just remember to tell them. Okay, so these are sticky too. I'm gonna shove um, one of these in here. Use lots of saran, just eat, okay. Tape it to the bottom of a candy bar. That's a good idea. But then somebody gets two things, whether it's their turn or not. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when you're playing, look, there's the Starbucks card. Sure does shine. This is starting to get kind of square. I need to make it more of a ball. Does anyone have any tips for that? I know you go back and forth, back and forth. All right, so y'all said another five and you said to lay it flat, but I just put a, I, I put a Starbucks in, so I'm gonna give it a second. I'm gonna add some star bursts. 
not to be confused with Starbucks. So somebody might unroll a Starburst when it's their turn. Whoops, I guess that ended that. So this is turning out kind of like a square right now. So we're just gonna keep working on it and finish this. You did this two years ago with family and they loved it. Yay, Vicki! How long does one person keep the ball, Pat? Um, it literally depends on um, how, what the people are rolling. Because we were talking about how you roll the dice and you have to roll doubles for the next person. I mean, to pass the ball around, if that makes sense. I'm going to put some candy in. I'm just trying to put two little candies in at a time so that um, it kind of keeps the game fun because it's not fun when all you're doing is the saran wrap. Okay, I'm going to try to do it this way too so that we can try to get a ball shape going. I think I've lost the ball shape somewhere. Oh my goodness, y'all. I forgot I have to add these. Um, so when it's your turn, do you just get to unwrap one layer? No, you get to keep unwrapping, Cindy, until the dice are rolled. So um, someone a little bit further up gave us the directions again. Um, so we might go back and read those in the comments. In the comments. So I've got that there. And then we're going to add one of these masks. We've got the we've got the icebreakers in there. Let's add one of these masks. I'm gonna do the charcoal black sugar mask. Woohoo! Someone ought to be excited to get that. It is, Pat. It is so much fun. This is a fun little last minute um, game you can do. You can do this at a work party. Um, Yes, Betty, somebody said that they always do gloves when they are rolling or unrolling the saran wrap. I've never played it where you had to wear gloves. Um, I feel like that might make it much harder and more fun. Okay, here's where we're at, y'all. It's becoming a big blob. This has masks and candy and chocolate and money and gift cards in it. So let's keep rolling. Let's add, let's add, let's add the Santa million dollars. Like if this was for little kids, they might think this was the best gift. So you just, there's so many ideas that you can go with for little ones on this. Um, you've got little, little toys little candies. Look at that, y'all. It's huge. It's taking up the whole thing. I'm going to put a couple candies in here. Just so that if this person gets it, they can keep rolling. Or they'll feel like they got something. This thing's getting out of control, y'all. You do not recommend gloves with the kiddos. Yes, they'll be so sad and pouting and mad and everything before you can get them excited about playing it. I'm trying to face all the things kind of out towards the um, outside of the ball so that you can see it when you're unrolling it. And that'll encourage the people to want to hurry up and roll the dice so that they can get the turn to win that prize. Okay, I'm going to add another Santa chocolate. And we are going to add some of the things will be loose in here and they'll just fall out as they're unrolling it. I'm going to tear this off here so that we can get another section going. And at the end, this is just going to be this huge ball, y'all. But we're moving along. We're doing a good job. We um, are over halfway there. 
over halfway there. But you could see where this could be, he could put movie tickets in this. I um, would love to play. Oh, y'all, our saran wrap is not cooperating now. It is out of control. Hold on. Look what it did. Look what I have here. It's a saran wrap mess. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. There we go. I'm still going to use that. I'm going to use that saran wrap that just did that to me. I'm going to push my sides back in. Remember our tip. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to use this spare parts all over just for more saran wrap. I need a helper to hold the box while you wrap it. Yes, I know. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay, y'all. I don't want to wrap up my block. You guys are doing such a good job of that. Yes, in a way, Joyce, it is like it's timed for each person's turn. They, um... Everyone's rolling, like the person next to them is rolling the dice and they're trying to get doubles for it to move on to the next person. But it sounds like everyone has a little bit different uh, methods and rules. Hey, Edna from Nebraska. Jessica, I'm waiting for the comments to go up so I can read yours. Oh, you can come help me. Yay! That would be awesome. Do you pass the ball? Put the box on the floor and hold it with my feet. That's a great idea, too. Okay, we are coming along. It's sort of still looking like a ball, but not really. It's sort of a, a weird shape. But we're going we're gonna to plow through here. We're still on our first thing of saran wrap. Can they tear through more than one layer? Yes, they can. Well, you're, no, you're supposed to literally unroll it. I don't think that would be right if you literally just tore it. Okay, we're gonna put the five in that we've been talking about over and over and over. So the five is in, the second five is in, and it's actually where you can see it. I'm gonna, I think it'll be fun to wrap this one with the five in it. Pretty solid because they'll be able to see it long before they'll be able to get to it, which is the goal. Okay, so the five is in there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tear off at that. show y'all. You see the five? He's in there. He is in there. You can see a snowman. All right, we are going to get some more candy in here, a couple of more gift cards. The bigger the ball, the longer you get to play, and the more fun it is for the people playing because everybody wants to have candy fall out or win something. This candy won't stay in there, it's so little. I'm gonna shove it right there. It's gonna stay. All right, I'm gonna add another. What am I gonna add? Oh, I haven't added. I'm gonna add one of the Bliss Techs. If you get really crafty, you can um, get your shapes where the shapes match enough to make it into the like perfect ball. I'm going to go ahead and put the Mentos in. That's going to be one of the ones they're going to fight over. Actually, I'm going to try to think of which direction. I think right here. I think that'll make for a good shape. I'm just trying to guess. I'm using my which side of brain, left or right for that. Left or right to figure out shapes. Okay, 
so that's the Mentos. Um, let's, we've got, oh, we've used a lot of the trees, y'all. Unless anything fell. Okay, let's do, um, I say we do another Starbucks card. That's a lot of good gifts in a row. Okay, I'm going to tear this off. Yeah, y'all give me some ideas of some things that you could put in here for like certain age groups. Um, I'm going to tear this off. Someone will probably get that Kit Kat because it's just barely hanging in there. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out. This is fun. We're leaving town in the morning, so I've really got to pack. Finish gift wrapping. Are y'all ready? Do y'all have everything gift wrapped? Matchbox cars, that's a good idea. I'm gonna put some double mint gum in here. And I'm gonna put another Santa. him like right there. He's right on the double mint gum. Move him over. Good grief. It gets a little harder the bigger the ball gets. For, yes, that's a great idea, Teresa, for adults, for sure. Right, I'm going to add another airhead. This is their favorite, is the white mystery. I think it's, I don't even know. Here we go. We are wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. I can see the Starbucks card in there. Let me see. There it is. Can you see it? <laughs> yes, you have each, bird, you make it together. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, a couple more candies. We are rolling it. We're getting to the wire. Let's see how we finish this off. I put all the three candies together. You know, some poor soul that didn't win any of the money or the gift cards or anything like that can maybe get, maybe they can get all the little candies together. Okay. So we are going to start one more time and we're going to add, at least the saran wrap's getting easier to pull off, even though it's sticking. I'm going to put the in and out Burger gift card here. Oh, and I have another, um, I have another mask girl mask to put on. I feel like I'm not tearing it enough because I think I'm getting what they're saying is if somebody gets on a roll and starts unballing uh, it, that they're probably going to just go and everything that was in that layer will start falling out. Yes, gag gifts would be fun too. And lottery tickets, y'all, I forgot lottery tickets literally that's like a must and I forgot it. I'm going to put this mask in. It's a cute little hologram ma mask. I think it's kind of cute. You know what? I'm going to put um, the warheads in first because it needs something else big on the side to round it out. And make it a round-ish ball. I think one of the candies fell out, maybe. I don't even know. You make one every year for a Christmas party and you have one for the kids and one for the adults. What a great idea, Kimberly. Just for each, each to do. Y'all, I'm getting rough with this <laughs> because I am, this takes 
a while. I didn't, I wasn't thinking it was going to take so long. All right, let's get the rest of this in here. I've got it all messed up now again. Okay, we are going to put this down and we are going to put another tree in here. Boy, their cars are just going to be smelling amazing, right? Six of these trees in here. Candy, chocolate. saran wrap in between items so I'm trying to use a little bit more you do layers with nothing in them too that's what I was just thinking I was like I think I've been putting stuff in too much stuff in there will probably be a little lull here with all the saran wrap and then uh, we'll pick it back up we'll pick it back up with some stuff that's a great idea, Kimberly. I should have started it that way, but that's how we're doing it together, y'all. And you can make yours however you want. I think some empty layers is a great idea. It keeps the game interesting. Probably, probably, Sandra, if you Google it, there's probably directions. I just know that when we've done it, I had to make everybody do it because not everybody wanted to. We're going to do one layer with nothing to make it more of a ball shape. But I'll tell you what, you tell them there's money in it, they're going to play. They are going to play. Starbucks cards and money, yeah, they'll play. So here's where we're at, we're at so far. It looks like a big ham, y'all. <laughs> looks like a ham. Oh, an engagement ring in the middle. Cindy, what a cute idea. Start with $25 Visa or gift card. That's a great idea, Mary. You can literally do anything with these, y'all. That is the beauty. Now, I have to be honest with y'all. I could swear we put this in there. I just held it up. I just held it up a while ago. I thought we put that in there. Oh, did I throw it back to get the warheads? I think I did. I think I did. All right, let's see here. We're going to put some more candy in since that's a little boring. towards the beginning. We still have another $5, some chapsticks, a Starbucks card. This thing is huge, y'all. How much do you think I spent? Um, I was at the Dollar General. You know, I had to get a couple other gifts, like gift cards. Um, let, me, let me subtract those. Y'all might have to help me. 25 and 10, 35. 45. Ooh, and I had to buy some other stuff. I'm going to guess. Hold on. Let me just think for one minute. And that's a great question, by the way. Um, 65. I think I spent probably about $50 is going to be my guess because it was the Dollar General. I probably could have gone to the Dollar Store, like the Dollar Tree, and uh, found a whole bunch of items for less, but this was so last minute, y'all. 
probably spend about $50 with the gift cards and the um, cash. But you can make it as economical or as expensive as you want based on what you shove in here. But we are moving along nicely. We are getting to the end, my friends. Getting to the end. We're going to put in a bliss deck. Look at how big this thing's gotten. You know what? I think, I was like, I think we're at the end of the saran wrap, but I guess not. It doesn't want to come out. Well, it wants to come out. There we go. This might be easier at this point. I think I have it backwards. Okay, let me tear that off. Oh yeah, this goes so much faster, y'all. Take the saran wrap out of the box for sure. All right, I'm gonna do it this way. And we are gonna put the last of these. And then we are gonna put Candy. I think it would also help not only to do different layers, but to um, do it different directions, different layers. Like start the saran wrap a different direction for the different delay, layer, if that makes sense. I am at the end of my saran wrap, y'all but it's starting to take the shape of a ball. Oh, thank you, Janet. Appreciate you helping me out answering questions. Okay, we're gonna put a couple pieces of candy in there. Now I'm doing that, y'all. <laughs> you can literally see it. Wow, this has gotten so much easier with the saran wrap not being in the box. The box was hindering me. It's definitely hindering me. Okay. I'm thinking that the mitts might take us forever to get done. Here's where we're at. We're kind of in a, we're, it, it's sort of a ball. I don't know. Pat, it looks like more. Christina, watch the replay. Watch the replay. Thank you, Janet, for helping. Okay, I still have a $5 bill. I have a Starbucks card and some candy and chat. So we're going to get that in here. And it looks like I've used one roll of um, saran wrap where I'm just about to have used one roll. Meaning, I think if you did it a little more efficiently, you might get away with um, just one roll. But I think I'm going to have to add some. Okay, I'm going to put a five in here flat so you can see it. This will be somewhere where they can get incentivized <laughs> to want to play. They'll be like, oh, there's money in it. Yes. Okay. So this is getting to the end of the saran wrap. I'm going to wrap this pretty good because it has the five in it. It's more exciting when it's a 20 or something, but listen, kids like money. It could be ones. It could be ones, and I think they would like it. Okay, I'm at the end of my saran wrap. I'm just going to put this piece right here for now open my second saran wrap and we just have like one thing to um to go through wow this one's not opening like the first one there i'm going to grab this out since we learned it's better to come out of it and then i'm just going to lay it this way and i'm going to get out the candy and out the um gift card and literally wrap this up no pun intended. <laughs> One 
one hand could be challenging. That's true. That's true. I didn't think about that. One hand, one hand to unroll it. I'm gonna put an airhead in. Thank you so much, Deb. Long with the game of laughs. Again, it is a game of chance and they are supposed to be rolling dice to see when the ball moves around. I mean, it goes by pretty darn fast. Like all this work to put this ball together, it's probably gonna be done in about 10 to 20 minutes. I mean, I don't even think 20 minutes. I think like five or 10 minutes. What do y'all think? How many can play? As many as you want. Um, it depends on your, your um, family or players if um, they are patient <laughs> and will and care whether they just get like one prize out of it if there's like a ton of people and it goes around and it never gets back around to them they might be like ah i'm out but if um it's just a few people it could be a lot of fun this is where we are and um uh, but again it, you can make the, this ball as big as you want it like this is a pretty big one, but you can keep going, y'all. And the bigger it is, the hard, the heavier it is, and it's hard to move it around the table. So it just makes it more fun. And the mystery is there. Like, okay, 20 to 30 minutes, Carol, if you use gloves. And Beverly, you are playing this game. It is so much fun. Okay, good. So I am not the only one. Good. All right. So I've got this layer on. We've got about um, two more layers, y'all. And this ball is huge. And it's turning more cylindrical as we speak. Make each round more challenging. One hand and miss. Oh, I love that idea. Who gave us that? Oh, Pat. Thank you so much. That's an awesome idea. So what she's saying, y'all, is start out like you normally would and just start unrolling it and using um, just your hands. And then once the time is back to the first person, make it a little more challenging. You can add mitts or one hand only y'all i have the starbucks card maybe i'll keep that for myself it's um i don't want it on the very top i'm gonna put a little star first right there It looks like some of the good stuff is going to be on the very top. This looks like a planet and it's got the little starburst in it. Oh, you're welcome, Janet, for the craft-a-thon. Listen, I'll tell you all a secret. So we're having the craft-a-thon. Um, oh, you'll have to see it on replay, Faye. We're having the craft-a-thon again in the spring, March 7th. Mark it on your calendars. Um, and we are going to have another flash sale of the VIP access between Christmas and New Year. So just be prepared. I'll be sharing about that. If you guys subscribe already, you'll get it in your email. If you do not, go to southerncrushathome.com forward slash subscribe and you will get that. Unrolling the saran wrap is torn. So does the player keep unrolling until this? No, you get to keep unrolling it until your turn is over and your turn is determined by the player next to you rolling dice. I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna put this in here. Because these, two of these kids are college kids and I know that they'll want to, like I can buy mine they can't, so they'll appreciate a gift card. Um, but then again, two of them are boys, so they don't really, they don't really, I don't know, do boys drink Starbucks? If they're smart. 
still take a girl there. Uh, let's see here. Yes. All right, so this is the Starbucks card, and that way it'll sort of show through. I'm not gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna put a couple of layers of saran wrap over it, but um, they'll know that there's good stuff in here. Oh, Lori Jo, yes, you said. Hey, Gail. All right, y'all, I am trying to finish this. How many of you guys are gonna do this now? I'm sorry, I am shaking the camera everywhere. It's because this has become so big, literally difficult to maneuver without just putting it in my lap. Okay, I'm gonna add this chapstick. It's the last thing. I'm just trying to read the comments. Yes, boys do. Okay, Jessica. Good to know. They do now. Hey, when it's paid for, they're like, yes. Okay, I am wrapping this a million times over that gift card because I don't want someone to just start the game and think they're immediately gonna get the gift card. I want it to get by a couple people first. I'm going to add this chapstick on top, and that will be the last piece of our... I'm just looking around, making sure I added everything. <laughs> I think I did. Your family will play. Okay, yay! How many rolls did I use? Well, this is my second roll, and I've not even used probably but a third of it. Maybe a third of it. So, like I said, if, if I would have... Um, maybe known how much it was going to take. It looked like I could have gotten away with one roll, but I hear that I could have even used more. I'm going to do one more thing of saran wrap around. One more, one more layer. Guys, this is where we're at. It's a big ball. I can still see the chapstick and I can still sort of see the Starbucks card in there. What do y'all think? Is this a, a big one? Yes, Nancy, we were talking about that. Well, this has been a lot of fun to do with y'all, and I've really appreciated all of your help. You guys, sprinkle the love so that other people can have some time with their family these next few days. Um, you're going to have a lot of time with relatives and kids out of school, and this is just something fun that can get people off their phones for a minute, a hot minute, and just spend some time laughing and enjoying each other. And like she said, video it so that you guys can remember the time that y'all played the saran wrap ball game and make memories, make the presence be the presence. Is it heavy? Yes, it is very heavy. All right, I think just about there. Do one more for good measure around this way. And then we will call it a ball. It is heavy. You shared it with your sister. Yay, Valerie! Yes, Emily, I hope it's fun. Youngest goes first. That's a great idea. So I'm hoping to make it a blog post, so I will go back and get the exact instructions, y'all, and I will share them with you so that we're not just all sitting here guessing. Okay, I am just going to finish this by making a, hopefully, a nice tear whatever kind of tear that was. And then I'm just gonna take all the spare pieces and pull them tight and press them down. And pull it tight and press it down. So this is it. This is the saran wrap ball game. I can still see a little bit of the chapstick. 
really can't hardly see anything else. Can you? That's the goal is it looks like a big cocoon y'all. You can't tell what's in it. And I probably should put a little more on just to cover up the chapstick, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay that they know that there's um, chapstick in there. And if you look really hard, you can see the Starbucks card is in there. So I think a little bit of tease to the mystery is good. But yeah, this is probably five pounds. I mean, it's pretty heavy, y'all. It's probably like six pounds. It's kind of heavy. So I appreciate you guys for sprinkling this and uh, for trying this out and also giving me all the love and giving me the tips as we made this. I appreciate you. Listen, if I don't see you live again, Merry Christmas. I hope to see you live again. I have something in mind that I want to do when we get to where we're going. So I'll try to hop on and share that as soon as I know I can 100% do it. So yay, Joyce, I'm glad you're planning on doing it. Y'all have a good night. Bye.